Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, how are you? I'm good. And you, mister? How are you today? So, so. Ah, uh, so, so. You're not good yet? Not no. good? Hmm. No. Es que ahorita el clima, ¿verdad? A me yeah, too. Yeah. I'm getting sick. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> yes, I'm getting sick. I have a, a little bit of fever right now and I have a headache. And I'm... But we are here. We are here. We okay. can do this. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hello, Miss Sandra. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. How are you, Miss? Ay, tú, Miss, with the flu. Fatal, teacher. Yes, es que ahorita como que es la season. Ni, ni en mayo creo que había tanto gripe como ahorita. Fatal, fatal. Yes, it's true, me. I feel you. Don't worry, Miss. Are you going to be oyente, Miss, or are you going to participate? Eh, participate, teacher. Okay, and you, Mr. Mauricio? Participate. Okay, great. Thank you. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you, Miss? Fine, and you? I'm um, good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> kind of good. We're going there. I, 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 I'm I getting sick. This weather, oh my goodness. It's not getting better. And no, <laughs> I don't feel good anyway. Yeah, but anyways almost saturday oh, almost friday so we are going to do the last energies right now hello miss lady sí fue así casi viernes so we are, vamos a tener un poco las últimas baterías del 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 body <laughs> hello miss lady how are you miss good evening good evening if i think you nice i'm good miss thank you for asking <laughs> Well, kind of good where we are going okay. there. Yes, because my, I have a third train mode of things. Hello, me, Rebecca. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Nice and good, miss. Thank you for asking. Ready, ready to start and almost for Friday, right? I feel that Friday is so bad. <laughs> that Friday, it's I wanted Friday. to... <laughs> almost, almost, because today is Thursday. Tomorrow is right. <laughs> so almost, almost, almost. Um, okay, so let's wait one more minute uh, for the other ones. Vamos a esperar un ratito por los demás. Maybe they join. Okay, let's give them one more minute. Vamos a darles un minuto, un minutito más. Hello, Miss Andrea. Hello, Mr. Jorge. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. How are you, Mr.? Fine, thanks. Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue today and start today's class. Okay, vamos a continuar y empezar la clase del día de ahora. Today it is, uh, well, as you know, we are going to continue with English for Work Program. This is basic model number four. My name one more time is Lizette Rosemary Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Thursday, November 10th, 2022. And today we are going to go with continue with unit number four, that is accounting, right? Uh, yesterday we were learning a little bit about the vocabulary for the vocabulary, right? For the, um, what was it? The accounting or financial statements, right? And today we are going to continue with this, that is some activities that you do in the company. And also we are going to write some sentences and learn how to use so and such. Okay, el día de ahora vamos a aprender esto. Vamos a aprender a utilizar el so y el, y el such. Okay, very important words. Palabra. Muy importantes in grammar uh, that we are going to use them. And also with some vocabulary about the companies, okay? So to start the first activity that I have, it's financial vocab, well, finance, finance or 
financial statements. As you remember, yesterday we were having some of these words. Eh, estamos haciendo una pequeña práctica de estas palabritas. And so, wait a second. I don't know what is happening. Okay, there. And so, what are we going to do? Um, I'm going to... Um, I want you to tell me what words do you remember from financial statements? Which ones do you remember? What words do you remember? Cash flow, teacher. Ah, cash flow. Very good. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Balance sheet. sheet. Balance sheet. Uh -huh. What else? Income statement. Ah, uh, income and statements, very good. Anything else? Liabilities, algo así. Ah, liabilities, yes. Liability. Very good, thank you. Anything else? Hmm. <coughs> Because there were many words, right? We have many, many words, okay? Mm -hmm. Deposit. Ah, uh, deposit, right? Very good, mister. Thank you. Incoming. Incomes, yes. Very good. Outcoming. Uh-huh. Outcomes, yes. Very good. Transference money. Ah, uh, transfer money, right? Yes, excellent. Okay, so to write many more of these, okay? Para escribir un poquito más de palabritas con esto, okay? I'm going to send you a link in which you are going to write the words that you remember because there are many more that I remember that at the end of the class we were practicing. ¿Se acuerdan que habían otras palabritas que estábamos practicando? De, del bank, the phrases for the bank and also there were other like phrasal verbs that I told you about. So I'm gonna send you that link so you can write the words there, okay? That you remember from yesterday's class para que puedan escribir ahí las frases que recuerden de el día de ayer o palabras también del día de ayer, financial statements, okay? So let's go ahead and write please the uh, phrases, phrases, sorry, that you remember. Mm -hmm. Remember that he says enter a word, right? There he says enter a word. What do you say? Using the ATM? Ah, uh, ATM, Mr. Maybe you can write ATM there. Only the word ATM. Very good. Cash flow, finances to finance, finance, income, statements. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Remember, it's every word, every word that you remember. ATM, like Mr. said. Mr. no puede escribir por ahí en, en el link eh, que envíe en el chat. Ah, yes, very good. ATM transferring. Yes, awesome. Account, right? Income statements, very good. Well, that was, and again, other ones, only two people in the chat. I mean, no me carga el link, teacher. Really? That's a strange. Wait, let's second, let me send it again then. Try that, that one. Huh? Mm -hmm. No puedo entrar. 
No, no, Timis. No, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Me trabó. Mi tirador oh. se me trabó. Mira. It's, it's, a, it's a strange. I already mute you, Miss. Don't worry. That's a strange means. Don't worry. Okay. It's a strange because I only sent you the link and you could write one word, right? Okay, but I think it's Zoom is me because my Zoom was free a second ago. Okay, these are some of the words, but another word that you learned yesterday, remember it was found. Do you remember how to say deuda, for example? I told you how to say that. Do you remember? Anybody remembers how to say deuda in English? Debt, right? How do you say tarjeta? The credit, card, for example? Credit card. Yes, credit card. How do you say, for example, um, eh, pagar las, las cuentas o pagar las, los, las facturas? Oh, there, there's more people coming. Uh -huh. Pay the bill. I'm sorry? Pay the bill. Pay the bills, very good. Uh -huh. Awesome, thank you. Uy. Pay the bills. Another one? Another one, like for example, um, I can see, but it's the same income transferring cash, uh, money, exactly. Making a deposit, yes. Cambiar un cheque. Do you remember how to say cheque in English? How do asking we say? Huh? Asking about check. Okay, check. I mean, maybe check. change, change the check, okay? In the check. Uh -huh. okay. What about how do you say, for example, um, transfer tercer, tercero. Ah, ah transfer to third parties, okay? Mm -hmm. Transfer to third parties, okay? Third parties. I remember there were many more, but I don't remember right now. Um, for example, um, what? Eh, una nueva cuenta de banco. Do you remember how to say? that because i remember that in the vocabulary yesterday we had it so how do you say that asking about checks very good canceling an account very good there we have more financial performance yes very good open another account ah open a new account exactly account excellent uh, we have um, liabilities, exactly. Uh, what do you say, pedir estado de cuenta? As for the uh, financial statement, mister. Financial mm, statement. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice the, uh, financial statement is like, like el estado de cuenta. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Yes, awesome, very good so far. And thank you for all the ideas that you gave me. That was very good, okay? So today we are going to continue with that. Uh, so we are going to continue with uh, talking about some things about accounts and accounting and also some grammar, as I told you before. But before we do this practice, we are going to do attendance section, okay? Antes de hacer la, la siguiente práctica, vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente, okay? Give me one sec. Give me a sec. Okay, so uh, Abigail Mejia, Andrea Amalia, Dania Lisbeth, Dilce Yamilet, Esmeralda del Carmen. Oh, thank you, Miss. Eh, Francisco Ernesto, Jorge Antonio. Present. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Let's see next one. Kenya Elizabeth. 
Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Pero acabo de ver a Miss Michelle. Ah, oh, es oyente. Thank you, Miss. Okay, great. Thank you for doing the attendance section. And now, as I told you before, we are going to continue with this next activity, okay? That it's a little bit of practice about everything, vocabulary, okay? Some like, and other things, okay? It's vocabulary and general things to practice and to learn, obviously, in English. This is called Jeopardy. Jeopardy, it's like, um, I don't know how to say, but it's a game and in which you have to choose a category and you have to tell me how many points you want to earn, okay? Este Jeopardy, wait, pero let me, let me see what is Jeopardy because I forgot the definition for Jeopardy. Um, a second. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Jeopardy, it's like, uh, oh, it's not this. Jeopardy Peligro, no, it's a game. Well, in this one, we are going to see, uh, like, as you can see, we have a category. Okay, Miss, no problem. So you have the category and you have to tell me the category and how many points you want to earn, right? Okay. Este, van a decirme la categoría y cuántos puntos quieren ganar. Like, for example, digamos que yo elija music. Uy, music y elija 10 points. Entonces yo le voy a dar clic en 10 points y me va a salir una pregunta. Miren, que dice, name the musical instrument. Oh, aquí es un audio. Okay, I think I, we are, well, let's try it. Oh no, it doesn't, you cannot hear it. No. Oh, so you can, it doesn't, it does, I don't know why it cannot play it. No se escucha. So music, we are not going to do music then because it doesn't, we cannot hear that. Anyways, but you have to give me like the, like the idea on top and then a number. Okay, so let's start with me, Sandra, Patricia. Tell me one, what category means and the number that you want to try. Guess the emoji, teacher. <clears throat> uh -huh. Guess the emoji, what number, Miss? Ten. Ten, okay, let's see. Okay, guess the emoji. What do you think is the name of the country? Mm. What it, country. Uh -huh, a country, un país, es un país. I, mm -hmm. what, do you think, what do you think it is, the country here, everybody? Can you help, Mr. Miss? Sorry, Miss Sandra. <laughs> I, I go. I go, but it's a country, un país. Uh -huh, sería um, El Salvador. I? <laughs> No, oh, es que está, está ahí con el hombre uh -huh. forman un país. Ok. Ah, ah ok. ¿O ¿Alguien tiene una idea? No, con... teacher, no, ni idea. Ok, okay it's Iran. Ajá, uh -huh, yo yeah. sí. Iran. Yeah. That's the country. Iran, ok. Pero, pero yo diré seis, pero no, no le ayudaron a la Miss y la Miss ahí no sabía que. <laughs> okay, let's see next one. Thank you, Miss. Mr. Mauricio, what, what category and what number would you like to try, Mr. Mauricio? Tongue and Twister. Uh, tongue Twisters? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, 30. 30, okay, let's see. Okay, so in this one, Mr., you have to read 
uh, three times this uh, tongue twister, okay? One, two, three, go. Kelly sells Celsius on the social. Sally sells Celsius on the social. Yes. Number three. Sally sells Celsius on the social. Thank you, Mister. Uh, that, that's it. Very only good. This. Yeah, only, only this. three. Only three. Uh, yes. Very good. Okay. okay, let's see next one. Okay, let's go ahead with the next one. Tell me, please, Miss Rebecca. Okay, tell me a category and then uh, the how many points you want you want? Guess the emoji. Guess so. emoji. Uh, I'm sorry. 12. 20. Ah, uh, yes, 20. Sorry. Okay, 20. Okay, what do you think it's the fruit? <laughs> oh my goodness. Fruit? The fruit, yes. <laughs> Mango. Mango. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yay! <laughs> wow. Mango. <laughs> Very good idea. Be yeah, nice. That was, that was, yeah, that was a good one. Yes. Let's see next one. Uh, Miss Esmeralda. Miss Esmeralda. What category, Miss? Tony Twister. Uh huh. Don't Twister. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. But I think. Okay. Oh. Three times, Miss. One, two, three. Go. He three, he three, three free throws. No, it will be like this. He threw three free throws. He th he three free free throws. Ah, uh -huh, throws. He three three free throws. Uh -huh. He three three free throws. Very good, Miss. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's go. Next one, Mr. Jorge. Okay, tell me category and then uh, points, please. We can choose music. Okay, uh, no music, no, Mr. Because it, we cannot hear. So, okay. so that's, uh, yeah. Uh, what, what is fact? Did you... Fact is like things that are true, cosas que son verdaderas, Mr. Maybe you could try. Okay. Fact. Okay, facts. How many points? 20. 20. 20. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> has the most native speakers 80, 845 million. Um, ¿Cuál es el país que tiene? O, o, o creo que es idioma. ¿Cuál es el idioma? I think que tiene más eh, hablantes nativos. Y dice acá. A, a, well, a 145 million, so 845 million. So, what do you think it could be the answer for this one? The fact it can be, it can be a language or it can be a country as well, right? Well, I think it's a language, mister. And, and like, um, Spanish, like, okay, Spanish. Oh, no, it's Mandarin. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we know this fact, Mr. Mandarin okay. has the most native speakers. I didn't know about that. That's a good fact. Okay, okay, when facts, I didn't know. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for trying. Let's go with Mr. Jose Ezequiel. I don't know, Mr. If you finish eating. Okay, uh, no. So it would be Miss Lady. Tell me. Um, music 20. Music 20. Miss music, we cannot play music because it doesn't reproduce. I don't know why. Um, okay. Um, guess the emoji uh -huh. 30. 30. Okay. So, what do you think is the answer for this one? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think it could be the answer? Mm 
No sé. What about the other ones? The, can you help me, Miss Lady, with this one? Mm -mm. Huh? Any ideas or no ideas? Okay, so this one, the answer. Yeah. Okay, it's a phrase, that's why. Killing two birds with a stone. Oh, how are we going to know this one? It's killing two birds with a stone. It's killing porque dos pajaritos matarlos con una piedra. Well, what? They didn't put a stone. But anyways, thank you, Miss. Thank you for trying, Alice. Let's try it again, Miss Rebecca. Let's go. What, what the category and the answer? Me? I'm sorry? Miss um, Rebecca, Miss Rebecca. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh, thank uh, you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, fuck. Back. Okay, 30. Okay, good Good job, Miss. Let's see this. How does working muscle in your body is? Eh, so, like, el músculo que trabaja más en nuestro cuerpo es? Which one do you think it is? Mm, the tongue. The tongue? Ah, oh, no. Which Maybe one? Maybe the heart. The heart, okay. Yes. <laughs> bueno. Nice, Miss. Wow. Love it. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Mauricio. One, tell me, what do you want to choose over here? Uh, mm -hmm. Guess the emoji. Mm -hmm. Guess the emoji, well, huh? 40 uh, or 50? 50. Okay, 50. <laughs> Eh, no se ve right, Uy, <laughs> mis. Él dice que es una una rima para las eh, para los babies. So, oh my goodness, it's going to be hard. No, baby, baby, okay. Uh -huh, Ajá, it's a rush. Mustache o oh, men, okay. No sé. Mucha, man, mustache, uh, man. Me. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 understand. No, so it's, no. it's una rima para los bebés, para los bebés, something that they, 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 they sing, algo que les cantan a los babies. Mm -hmm. Lo que les cantan a los babies. Uh, mm -hmm. Le cantamos un montón. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let's see. The phrase, what? This is in a it would okay. I didn't know about this one. Johnny, Johnny, just pop. <laughs> I this is my first time listening to this rhyme. This is a a rhyme for the babies, but we don't sing it here, right? We only sing other things. This is an American. I'm so sorry, Mister. Another yeah. one. Let's see, Miss Sandra. What number, Miss? Uh, tongue twister. Uh huh. Uh, ten. Ten. I think ten ya lo hicieron. Oh, no, uh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So you have to tell me three times, Miss. Three times this phrase. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. a specific Pacific. A uh -huh. Specific Pacific. A specific Pacific. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's go, Mr. Jorge. Tell me what category. What is riddles? Riddles is adivinanzas. Uh, okay, riddles. Okay, uh, 10, ten, twenty. Okay. I uh, know. Oh no way! I put music. Riddles ten. Okay, <laughs> Mister, what's the riddle here? What are the letters? The two letters for. ¿Cuáles son las próximas dos letras? ¿Para qué cree que son esas últimas dos letras there? 
So we have J F M A M J. So what do you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, MF. Okay, for what, Mister? I don't know. That I think that mm -hmm. uh, is, is this order. Uh, that, that's the order. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. For example, J. Uh huh. M. Uh huh. In twice. J uh -huh. twice and uh, missing A and F. F. Oh. I have to know. <laughs> Good, 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 like good job with that. But no, mister, these are the letters for the month of the year. These are January, February, March, April, May, June, <laughs> July, and August. Yeah, that's the riddle, yeah. mister. But good try. <laughs> good try, but thank you, mister. Let's okay. see, next one, it would be Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Can you try it now, Mr. or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me what category and the points. You can do fact 30, 40, 50, riddles 20, 30, 40, 50, don't twist 50, guess the emoji 40. Uh huh. Uh, music teacher. Music, no, mister, porque no se escucha. We don't know why. Ah, no okay. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Cuál otra me dijo? Eh, Toon Twisters, 40, 50. Riddles, 20, 30, 40, or 50. Okay, Fact, Riddles. What? 30, 40, or 50? <clears throat> 40. Okay, 40. Okay, so... <laughs> So, can you read the riddle, please? Esta es adivinanza, okay? Can you read it, please? ¿Lo podrías leer? A man buys a horse for 60 bucks. He sells the horse for 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. He then buys the horse back for <laughs> 80. And he sells the horse again for 90. In the end, how much money did, did the man make or lose or did he break or even? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, what do you think is the answer? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Mr. Jose. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Okay, let's see. No. Make 20 <laughs> bucks. Yeah. Yeah, you are... yeah, yes, but good try, mister. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it was you. 20, 20 bucks because he says 60, and then he says for 70, right? So it will be 10. Then he says her, her back. He has uh 10, 8, 90, right? And then how much is well, it makes 20 bucks. It, did the make make or lose because at the beginning he has 70 right and then at the end it's 90 so it's 20 bucks wow you have to count a lot let's see now miss esmeralda can you try it please one category guess the emoji uh guess emoji uh, 40 or 50 miss 40 40, okay. Uh, it's a movie, Miss. What's the movie? Uh, What's the emoji? You have all of the. Ah, huh? what's the ah Jumanji? No, it's not Jumanji, Miss. Oh, it's a night, and then you have uh, uh, no, it's not a castle. No, no, it's not a castle, it's a museum. Then you have a man, uh, exactly. In English. In, English. Uh -huh. in English, how do you say that? And it's in 
Yes, exactly. A night at the museum. That's the movie. Exactly. Thank you. Very good. Okay, now we are going to continue because we have many more, but if we continue like this, we're not going to never finish this. I have many more over there. Okay. Give me one second. So as I told you before, today we are going to continue. Oh my goodness, my, my presentation is freeze. Give me one second, please. Okay, so before we go ahead with the next one, okay, I have a question for you. And, and the questions are like this. Well, first of all, do you remember what is an adjective? Or do you know what is an adjective? An adjective, okay. So you don't know, uh, well, I'm gonna give you an, a, a definition, okay? So you remember what is an adjective. An adjective is a word, okay? That is going to describe, okay? It can be a person, describes a person, an object, object or an animal, okay? And then, so these words uh, we can say, like for example, one adjective, it can be happy. Another adjective that you can mention to me, please. Mm -hmm. Dry, cry, mm, boring. Sad, maybe, mister. Sad. Uh -huh, sad, boring, boring. Uh -huh. angry. Angry, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Upset. You said. Oops, upset. Upset. Up, upset. Uh huh. Another one. What happened to the other ones? Can you give me? Uh, any other ideas? Uh, for for example, when I um, say the um, uh, I don't know the mm -hmm. the voice, for example, <laughs> for example, I I'm fat or thin. Ah, eh, fat, yes, thin, porque despide de Describes, quiero decir, describes a una yeah, persona, a person. entonces, ajá, entonces yeah. sí, yeah, there would be um, like, like that. The color. A colors, all of the colors are adjectives, ok, todos los colores son adjetivos, ok, toditos, red, black. Mm -hmm. All the colors, ok, remember. Um, any other one? Also, when I describe uh, a thing, uh, for example, short or large. Ah, so, very good. Para cosa, yeah. short, large, yes. When describe the the person, also uh, tall or 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 short too. Very good. But el short. Eh, vamos a utilizarlo para person, ok? And then for things, small, ok? Y okay. para cosas sería small. Ahora para, eh, for people, tall. Tall. Ajá, uh -huh. and then large for things. Wait. Ok. Things and also big, ok? También podemos utilizar big, right? Big. Teacher, yeah. Y el huge no cabe en esas. Yes, also huge for uh, things as well. Mm -hmm. Any other ones? What about you, Mr. Mauricio? Maybe. Afraid. Huh? Afraid. 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 Yes, excellent. Durante tired. los very good tired. Han visto muchos. Miss Esmeralda, Francisco, Kenya. Miss Lady, Rebecca, Sandra, uh huh. Hot. 
Hot, excellent. Cold. Uh -huh, cold. Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. Fast. Fast, excellent. Wet. Wet, yes. Dry, right? Seco. Sweet. I'm sorry? Sweet. Sweet. Yes, very good. Sweet. Ya no me cabe. Hola. Wait, let me, because I need it here in the, in the screen. That's why I'm writing the here. Okay. So, sorry, what do you say? Sweet, salty. Mm -hmm. Slow. It's slow. Yeah. Okay. Slow. Hmm. Anything else? Okay, I think those are like the most common ones. There are many more. Remember that we have so many adjectives because we can say for animals, porque para animales, por ejemplo, podemos decir fluffy, el pelito, eh, que son muy así como like fluffy, fluffy, fluffy will be like esponjosos. We can say beautiful, ugly for people and for animals, right? Or you can say pretty or handsome, okay? And many more. Right now, I'm gonna show you one picture and you want, I want you to tell me what adjectives would, like, would you use to describe this picture? So here we have, oh my goodness. Okay, there. So we have this picture, okay? So what do you think about this picture? If you see this picture, how how do you feel? Or what did you feel? Uh -huh. It's black, right? What else? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ¿Qué objetivos utilizarían ustedes para describir esa imagen? They are friendly. Our friend, they are friendly, very good. What do you say, cariñoso? Uh, loving, oh, nice, loving. yes, loving. Friends. what is charming? Charming is encantador, charming. Okay. Yeah, very good. That could be another one. Her hair is straight and short. It's strange. It's straight, Liso. It's straight. Ah, it's straight. Oh, very good. Or wait, there's another uh, another word. Wait, plain. Okay, pero liso. El pelo, dice usted. Sí, her okay. hair. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's her. straight and yes. short. Yes, very good. Short. Eh, yo pensé que me estaba hablando de la ropa, porque, por ejemplo, cuando una ropa no tiene un, un estampado, se dice plain plain wait 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 plain 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 oh i forgot how to say and ropa it's plain but wait 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 i just don't remember yeah plain i was correct plain with dots, with a square, right? So those are different ones, very good. Okay, let's see next one. And we have another picture. How do you feel about this picture? Uh -huh. Delicious. Delicious, excellent. What else? Sweet. Sweet. Ah, uh, sweet. Uh huh. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. You're hungry. Very good. 
Tasty. Tasty, yes. Tasty. Mm -hmm. What about uh, red, right? Because you can see red over there. You can see also uh, colorful. Else? Colorful, very good. That's another one. Colorful. Con mucho color, right? Colorful. And then, yeah. Delicious. You already said them. Very good. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna say one um, object, okay? I'm gonna say one object and you in the WhatsApp group, you have to describe it, okay? Yo les voy a decir un objeto ahorita, okay? Y ustedes en el grupo de WhatsApp lo van a empezar a describir, okay? Pero van a hacer la lista cuando yo les digo que le envíe, van a enviarle. Okay, like for example, let's say dog. Entonces ustedes empiezan a escribir diferentes adjectives for dog. Para un perrito. What adjectives can you say? Oh, fun, funny, friendly, happy, right? Todos esos adjetivos los van a escribir en un solo mensaje. Cuando yo les digo send, lo van a enviar. Ok? Yes? Ok, let's start. First of all, we are going to start with the person. Vamos a empezar con una persona, okay? So we are going to describe right now to Mr. Mauricio, okay? So you're going to describe Mr. Mauricio. So start writing <laughs> the adjectives in there. Pues empiecen a, a, descri a escribir adjectives for Mr. Mauricio. Because remember that we can also describe him, right? So let's try to do it. And send it right now. Send, 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 send all the adjectives that you have for Mister. <coughs> Nobody. <laughs> send the adjectives that you have for Mister Mauricio. Happy. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Todo fa what, Mr. Mauricio, <laughs> solitos. <laughs> Don't say that, Mr. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I heard so many. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Nice. Talker. Talkative, Mr. Talkative. <laughs> Yeah, but that's good. <laughs> Talk at him. But aquí sería así, I think. Oh, nice, Mr. <laughs> Don't beat up us over there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. No, very good. <laughs> Ahora sí, vamos con an object, okay? I want you to describe, please, describe the, the airport. The airport here in El Salvador. Quiero que describamos ahí adjectives for the airport here in El Salvador, okay? And well, remember to do a list. Recuerden que tienen que hacer la lista y cuando yo les digo enviar, la vamos a enviar, okay? So right now, just do a list, okay? Oh, you're sending right now. Solidarity, really? How? Oh my, he's elegant and it todavía lo siguen describiendo. Me dice, wow, <laughs> wow. Make the list for the, hagan la lista para, remember, for the, um, the uh, airport, airport, okay. Okay, let's send, 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 send the adjective for the airport. Ah, big, beautiful cover. Oh, wow. 
beautiful, mister. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be okay, okay. Very good. Loving, luminous. Wow. Who is, who is totus tutus? Totus tutus. Ah, okay, <laughs> Miss Lady. No problem. What happened to the other ones? Okay, awesome, beautiful, beautiful, big, yes. Beautiful. Aha, uh -huh, beautiful and big. Okay, let's go and now. Wait, wait. Okay, let's go ahead with the next one. Next thing, okay, now it's going to be an animal. And I want you to describe, please, quiero que describamos en el chat de WhatsApp y use un adjetivo eh, to describe. And uh, it would be a, uh, es que no sé. Let's say a tiger, a tiger. Can you write the list? Recuerden escribir la lista y cuando les diga, we're going to send it, okay? Make the list, make the list, make the list. <laughs> okay, send it right now, send, send, send for the tiger, okay? Okay, um, dangerous savage. Carnivorous line. What about line? What is line, Mister Mister Ezequiel? ¿Qué quiere decir con eso? Eh, como rayado. Ah, so they have a stripes. Stripes. Okay. Stripes. Ahorita le mando cómo se escribe eso, Mister. Es con líneas, okay? Stripes. Beautiful. Hmm, ya lo voy a mandar a hacer planas de beautiful, <laughs> because you have to, okay, that is, cosas, what, mister? <laughs> Don't worry, mister. Beautiful. Ya lo voy a mandar a hacer planas de beautiful. Okay, and the last one, the last thing, a uh, big thing. Thief. Exactly, right? They have big ones. Now, a food. I want you to describe pupusas <laughs> because you know I love pupusas. So let's describe pupusas over there. Recuerden hacer la lista and when I tell you send the, the list. I'm going to give you some time. Who poops us? Okay, send the vocabulary for pupusas now, please. Okay, tasty, spicy, delicious, delicious, cooked, cooked, delicious, delicious, different flavor. Oh, yes. Revueltas, le hubieran puesto porque todos son adjectives. Revueltas de queso, de, de colors, de los colores que hay, porque yo sé que en un, yeah. en un, en un municipio Teacher. o en un departamento. Ajá. Y revolvidas, ¿cómo se dice? <risa> Revueltas, it's only revueltas, no revolvidas. Ok. 
What? No, Mr. <laughs> Revueltas. It would be mouth watering. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. I want some pupusas right now. From Olocuita, si se puede. <laughs> With burnt cheese. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Did you read my mind? Yes, round. Exactly. Son circles, right? Son cir circulares. So that's another one. Lots of cheese, pupusas. Delicious, tasty corn and rice, definitely very good. Big or small rice, porque recuerden que tenemos la loca, okay? We have the regular ones, and those are like the worst. Okay, question so far about that. We were doing this exercise because in the next one, okay, uh, we are going to learn the use for the so and such, as I told you before. Wait a second, I think. That's the next one, the next step, yeah. So they use for the so and such, okay? Um, basically these words, just give me one second, I just want to check on the manual. Wait a second, please. Wait, wait. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, so we are good. Okay, so as I told you before, we are going to learn the use for itself and such. And these words, uh, we use them with uh, adjectives. That's why I was reviewing the adjectives, okay? Estas palabritas pues se utilizan con adjetivos. Por eso es que estaba haciendo un pequeño repaso. And I wanted you to remember, quisiera, y lo que yo quería era que los recordaran. What are adjectives from more time? Can you remember to me, please? What, what is an adjective? One more time. Mm -mm -mm. Definition. What is the definition for an adjective? It's a what? word that describes a thing or you know, person or animals. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. Exactly. So these adjectives describe word. I mean, objects, people, food, right? Animals. Okay. And so. They are these two words, so and such, that they give like an extra to these words, okay? Lo que hacen esta so and such es que dan como un extra a, la, a los adjetivos, les dan como un realce, okay? Destacar. Exactly, de, destacan, exactly. So here we have some, uh, or reducen, or destacan or reducen mm -hmm. la palabra, or the adjective. So here we have some examples to start, okay, with these words. Uh, uh, Topic for today, number one. Can you help me to read, please, Mr. Mauricio? Number one. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. This internet is so slow, slow. So slow, right? Thank you. Number two, Mrs. Esmeralda. Exactly. Number three. Can you help me to read, please, Mr. Jose Ezequiel? There's a such a slow connections. Connection. Exactly. There's such a slow connection. And please try to give like that energy. So such. Okay. So we can use it. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, so first we have so, okay. And so as you can see, look at the structure for so. Okay, tenemos la estructura para el so. And then first, what do we have? We have the so. First, we have a subject, obviously, right? Siempre vamos a tener un sujeto, el cual estamos describiendo, right? Un objeto, it can be food, it can be an animal or a person. Después, después del sujeto, pues vamos a tener el so, and then we are going to use an adjective, okay? Aquí, pues dice que le podemos agregar el that, pero ahorita, pues no nos vamos a meter acá, okay? So only this, okay? The subject, so, and the adjective. And here we have uh, uh, the sentence. Help me to read, please, Miss Kenya, the sentence here. This app is so boring. Exactly, thank you. As you can see here, we have the this app that will be the subject. The um something very important to remind and to remember to you is that we have to use a verb, okay? And then you use the self, and then we have the adjective, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. And yes, let's go. I have some more. Then we're going to do our, our examples, don't worry. 
another one, another ideas here for the such, okay? For the such, what happens is that first we have always remember the subject, the verb V, and then, or you can use other words, o pueden utilizar otras frases para iniciar, vea, como un sujeto y el, un verbo, eh, otro verbo. And then here we have such, and then we have the adjective, plus an uncountable or plural noun. For example, here, these are the creations, right? The structures. Help me to read that one, Miss Lady. They are such useless computer software. Exactly. They are such useless computer software, right? Um, let's see. Next one is the same. We have subject, I mean such, and then obviously first the subject or the verb V. Then you use a or an, and then you use an adjective in a singular noun, okay? Like here, help me with this one, please, Miss Sandra. This is such a good app. And this is? This is such a program. Exactly, this is such a program, right? And look, first we have, in this case, it says a demonstrative this, and then you have verb to be is, and then such. And then we have, um, in this case, a or an. And this one, the adjective is good in something to complement, right? Y algo para complementar es, es una sola cosa. Porque recuerden, vea, que, que si tenemos el a, a por acá, quiere decir que al final tenemos que tener una sola cosa, vea. Otro puede ser que tenemos el demonstrative this, verb to be is, or are, depending, right? Then such, and then again, a program. In this one, they don't use an adjective, though. En la última, pues no utilizan un adjetivo. Si se dan cuenta, solo utilizan el objeto, a program. Let's go, because I have so many more. Oh no, we are not going to do this one yet because, oh, this one, yes. Here, wait a second, give me one second so I can move on to the next one because I want to see something. Okay, here I have some more examples for so and such. And it says here, we. so we, use, we often use so and such to talk about the cause and the effect of something, okay? Eh, a veces utilizamos el so and such en oraciones para hablar acerca de causas y efectos que producen the things, right? Um, so here we have, can you help me to read this one, please, Miss Rebecca? The problem was so difficult that we couldn't solve it. Exactly, thank you. So difficult, right? That's the cause. And then they say we couldn't solve it. Then we have another one. Help me to read that one, please. Uh, Mr. Francisco. It was such a difficult problem that we couldn't solve it. Solve it, thank you. As you can see, this is the same, right? The, the cause we are using so, and also we can use such, okay? The only difference is that when we use such, we are going to use a, okay? And the with so, we don't use a. And then after the such a or an, we use an adjective, right? As you can see here. This is another example. And I think here, oh, this is a order for so and such. And first, as you can see, we have obviously a subject. Como pueden ver por acá, primero tenemos el sujeto. Then we have a verb, in the, the verb to be, but in this case it's in past. Then we have the such. 
Then we have a o an, as I told you before, in this case, como tenemos la siguiente palabra que empieza con consonante, vamos a utilizar mm -hmm. a, right? Y si fuera una vocal, what do we use? Here. An. An, exactly. An hot, and then an adjective, and something to complement, right? We're not going to do that with that. Uh, then here we have another one. Again, oh, here it was such hot weather. It's another one. They are such good players. Okay, now wait. I have here some examples, okay? I'm gonna show you some, well, practice. We are going to do some practice. Vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica in which I, I know I forgot about this. We are going to rewrite these sentences. Vamos a reescribir estas oraciones, but wait. Let me do some sentences first. Vamos a hacer unas oraciones primero. Just give me one second because I don't know where my my wiper is. I didn't put it, I guess. Give me a second, please. Un segundo que necesito abrir my wiper. <laughs> Okay, I have it now. Okay, so it would be like this, okay? With the sound, okay, we are going to say, for example, the ice cream, let's say the ice cream is, first we're going to use so, okay? Remember that so, it's only, we don't need anything else, right? We don't need an ow or an, so we are only going to say so. Can you give me an adjective for an ice cream? Oh. Calls. Sorry, Miss, what do you say? Delicious. Ah, it's so delicious. Excellent. Delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be looking delicious. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Okay, so. As you can see here, we use it to give it like, oh my goodness, it's so cold. It's so delicious, right? Then that's for the so. In el so, pues no hay mucho, ¿verdad? Solo sería el subject, then the verb be. El verb be puede ser en presente o en pasado, right? And then you use so in an adjective. Then with such, there's a little bit of change, right? Pero con el such hay un poco de cambio porque podemos hacerlo con el I el an y sin el I el an. Like for example, hmm, the cat, the cat is such a, hmm, an adjective, is such a troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker is an adjective for a cat because they do a lot of things, right? Troublemaker is como es un causante de problemas, right? Because they never, they are never like, they have always jumping and doing things, right? Or maybe you can say, this is one way. Esta sería una forma, right? First we have this subject, then we have the verb V, the such, a, right? And then the adjective in the other way it could be the hmm what can we say el salvador we are going to describe el salvador the salvador is such mm -hmm. one adjective to describe el salvador please people help me help me is such Uh, no good adjective for El Salvador? Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Ah, beautiful country, right? Beautiful. Uy. Beautiful country, right? Okay, so here we have the subject, verb V. Después tenemos such, an adjective, right? Y aquí pues le podemos agregar algo para 
porque estamos escribiendo El Salvador, there is a country as you know, obviously, right? You know that. Do we have any questions so far? So, oh, are we good with this one so far? Questions, questions, right now is the time to do them, okay? Teacher, yeah, uh, both words it mean the same. Both, yeah. So and such. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is this one? Quién es que no encuentra mi microphone? Ah, oh, Miss Abigail. Oh, that's a strange, Miss. Supposedly yes. this block. Uh -huh. Yes, Mister. I have a question. For Tell example, me. when I use use mm -hmm. or when I use both words, mm -hmm. uh, is how in Spanish, for example, mucho. Tan uh, o mucho, or exactly, tan. exactly, uh, mucho. For example, number one, the ice. I'm sorry. One more time. In both cases, is is similar. Yeah. Uh, I I can use both words, and I say the same uh, uh, quality or meaning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The definition. Yes, uh, Mister. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Uh, the only see, for example, number one. So the ice cream is so cold. El helado está tan helado. Okay. El helado, valga la o, el, o el sorbete está tan helado, right? En el such, it would be like, like this, depending on the thing, dependiendo del objeto, o de la persona, o del país, ¿ok? Porque, por ejemplo, the cat is such a troublemaker. Ese gato es, es tan, no, wait, it would be, no, no es tan, it would be, es, es un, Wait, wait, how do we, I can, I don't know how to Furry. Huh? I'm sorry? Furry, furry. No, but in this one, such a troublemaker, mister. But I don't know how to translate such right now. <laughs> so I'm I'm such in the Which first one. one. This oh. One. This one. Such, se me fue la translation for such. Uy, such. Tal, semejante, like for example, el gato es, eh, mm, semejante eh, causante de problemas o un, un uh, o causa tantos problemas, ok or maybe El Salvador is such a beautiful country El Salvador es tan bonito un país tan bonito it would be, ok So those are the meanings for both of them. Lo, las dos, los dos tienen el mismo significado. Ahora bien, depende si el adjetivo es bonito o es feo, right? Porque, por ejemplo, ustedes estaban diciendo, the tiger, the tiger is so dangerous, right? Dangerous. And in the other way, it could be the tiger The tiger is such a dangerous animal, right? Because you are saying what is for what? El tiger, el tiger, el tigre es un animal tan peligroso, okay? You put this activity in it. All right, remember that you can avoid this. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mister, I don't know if I clarify your doubt or no. Teacher, mm -hmm. when I use so, um, I finally sentences with a, an adjective. Yes. But when I you use mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I use the adjective plus the complement. For yes. example, this is in these sentences, you use dangerous animal. Yes. Okay. But maybe you can say is, pero si no utilizas a ah, mister, uh, eh, you can say this, the tiger is such a, such a, I can't, no siempre utilizo a, ah, I don't know why, the tiger is such dangerous, 
Okay. Oh my goodness, dangerous. I can find, I can avoid I can find these sentences in this form. Yes. Oh, okay. That was the, the last form that I showed you, mister. Yes, you can say it, but you have to omit ah. You have to omit that for avoiding animal, okay? Because okay. If, uh -huh, it, would, it wouldn't have like a good definition. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No, no, thank you, teacher. And what about the other ones? Because right now I want to do a little bit of practice and this practice it says, look over here. So we have, it says, rephrase the sentences to replace such with so and vice versa, depending on context, okay? So number one, it says, vamos a reemplazar el so y el such y, y viceversa, vea, dependiendo del contexto. So here we have, it was so lonely there. So the other way it will be, it was such a lonely day there, okay? Aquí, como pueden ver, le agregaron el a y le agregaron day, okay? Because Si no, si no le llegamos el a o el an, it doesn't have like a meaning, no tiene como un, eh, coherencia, okay, o, o, de, o definición. Number two, what do you think it could be number two? You have such a big and comfortable house. ¿Cómo lo podríamos utilizar con el so? Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. You have so. Uh huh. You have your house, or you have. Uh -huh. How? How? Mm -hmm. A house. A house. So be. So be. Mm hmm. And comfortable or comfortable, right? Comfortable. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you think this is correct or no? Do you think we can change something? What do you think? Um, you have a house so big and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Jose Ezequiel? Um, estoy pensando. Okay, think about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, you have a house so I big. Think, mm -hmm. I think no plus and comfortable. Only you have a house so big. No comfortable? Yeah, okay. Okay. It, because the house is big, it's very comfortable. Mm, okay, good idea, mister. Teacher. Uh huh. Yo estaba pensando de que se omitiría el such, el, el artículo definido, creo que es esto definido, no recuerdo muy bien. Ah, uh huh. Ajá, y comenzar ahí, so comfortable house. You have a so Ajá. comfortable house. Oh, you have a... You have so big. So big, no, así. No, sí, you have, no, you have, no, pero le quitamos ahí el house. No, pero how, wait. <laughs> Look. Okay. Yeah. We do, okay, oh. entonces... Ajá. Es que you have, el have, ¿verdad? No es uh -huh. house. You have. Uh -huh. As all comfort. As all. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Comfortable house. Okay. Así lo pensé yo. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Digo yo. Uh -huh. What about the other ones? T-shirt. Uh -huh. uh, your house is so big and comfortable. Very good, Miss. Exactly. Your house. Okay. It was the idea. Because remember, do you remember that I told you that we are going to use a verb to be with the so? And you didn't use it. Your mm -hmm. house or your house. Wait a second, because it doesn't let me raise here. I don't know why. Oh, there. Your house is so big and comfortable. Or comfortable. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's see number two. It says, her Swiss watch is so unique and expensive. Ahora tenemos que utilizar al revés, such. 
okay? With such, we have a difference that we can use verb to be and all the verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. Podemos utilizar otro verbo, vea, con such it right there, you can see it. <coughs> Uh, her switch one is so unique. She has. Uh -huh. She has. She has. Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. She has. Mm -hmm. Such unique and expensive. Sweet watch. Exactly, Miss. Wow, very good. Sweet watch. Exactly. Y miren yeah. el, or mm -hmm. en el orden de acá. It's, it's a little bit different, right? Because we have to have a verb. Tenemos que utilizar un verbo. Or a verb to be. It sometimes has. Then such. De después los um, adjectives. And then at the end, we have the object, right? Y al final okay. tenemos el objeto. Okay, remember that. Okay, let's see next one. Number three. She had such a busy preparation for her wedding. Mm -hmm. Es en pasado, right? So it would be she. Mm -hmm. Recuerden que ahora con el soap, ¿eh? <laughs> What do we use with so? What do we use? The verb to be, right? So in this case, it's in past, it would be? She what? was, uh-huh, so. Mm -hmm. What's the adjective over there? BC, okay. BC es ocupado o la carrera o rápido, uh -huh. okay. She was so busy for the preparation of her wedding, we can say, but we are going to do it like that only. Number four, your room is so untidy and not cozy. Cozy, sorry. So the opposite, it would be? Your room is so untidy and not cozy. What about the other ones? What, are, what is happening? True. Miss Rebecca, Miss Sandra, Miss Lady, Kenya, Juan Jose. Hello, Mr. Mr. Jorge Francisco. Number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this one, we are going to use such. Teacher, que es untidy. Eh, desorganizado o no limpio ah, también. You found such an untidy and no cozy room. <laughs> exactly, you have such an a o an mis an an untidy. And not cozy, uy, not cozy room. Excellent, Miss, thank you. Then the last one, it was such an obvious decision. Hmm. With so, remember. Mm -hmm. Anything? It was, ¿verdad? Easy. So, or do we are missing something? So. 
So obvious, okay? Obvious decision for you, okay? Uh, wait, wait, this one it will be the decision, maybe the decision was, sorry. I write it, the decision was so obvious, okay? Ooh, obvious. Okay, because remember that we are uh, like using this, so we have to use the verb V. Questions so far right now? Doubts? Tell me, tell me, right now is the time. Mm -hmm. Only practice more. Yes, right now we are going to do it, okay? We don't worry. Give me one second. I just want to move to, through my, my presentation because I have many. Okay, here. And let's go to the manual. In the manual, oh, I don't know what is happening to my presentation. It doesn't work today. In the manual, we have some more examples, okay? We are going to read them and we are going to analyze them. Maybe we identify more things here that maybe we didn't see in the presentation, okay? So here we have, so can you help me to read so please, Mr. Francisco? So the sentences, please. Okay, so can you help me to read, please, Miss Kenya? So, mm -hmm. it is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the report. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. Imaginative, very good, thank you. And then we have the sentences for such. Help me to read the sentences, please. Uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Juan Jose, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. Mm -hmm. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. Thank you. Okay, so look over here the order of the sentences right first we have the subject then we have the verb v okay it can be in present or in past puede estar en presente o en pasado verdad aquí lo tenemos en presente después el so and then we use an adjective right acá como pueden ver le agregan algo más right they they use something more that's okay but then it they remember that first we have this so and then we have the adjective but then in such but ahora in such what happens we can have more verbs podemos tener más verbos and but in this case it only appears a subject pero aquí en los ejemplos que tenemos en el manual pues solo aparece el subject then verb v then such then a o an and then the adjective okay and then they have like a complement for the idea, right? Y después tiene ahí un complemento para la idea. So that would be like the order for the sentences, okay? For uh, so and such. Now, we are, right now, as you can see here, we have six sentences that we are going to do them, okay? And so, for example, number one, it is good to know the cash flow, they are? So important. So and such, such, such. Hmm. Well, it's so, so important. So, uh -huh. so. so important, right? Okay, let's do the other ones. Vamos a hacer las demás. I'm going to give you for this, the poder para esto. Three minutes. Three minutes because it's little. It's not that much. Okay, no es mucho. So let's go ahead and do it, okay? So you can do it. Three minutes. Two, three, four, and five, okay?
Let me know when you're finished, please. Say finish because I want to know. Ready? Ready. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with number two. Can you help me to read up number two, please, Mr. Mauricio? What's the answer for number two? Okay. The architect is such a creative woman. Yes, Mr. Thank you. Excellent. Number three. Next volunteer, please, to help me with number three. Wireless internet access is so convenient. So convenient. Very good. Thank you, mister. Let's go number four, Miss. Um, hi, quien fue? Miss Sandra or Miss Rebecca? I don't remember. Miss Sandra. Hi. Okay, Miss Rebecca, number four. Thank you. Oh, they invention we create are so popular popular very popular. good popular number five volunteer to him please only yeah. one okay thank you mr jose Ezequiel. Um, number five the, the computer was such a significant significant invention thank you very good Number six, volunteer, Esmeralda. Check okay, thank you, mister. Checking your financial statement, what so difficult before. Exactly, very good. So these are the answers. Very good. I can see that you have identified very good uh, the use of so and such, but let's see when doing sentences right we are going we're about to create our own sentences okay mm -hmm. yes because it will be a different thing right yeah questions 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 right now is the time these are the correct answers so yeah Okay, so no questions. Let's go ahead and practice, okay? Because, wait a second, in the next one, what are you going to do? Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the next one, what I want you to do, okay? I want you to practice this. I want you to write five sentences, okay? It would, no, let's write three sentences with so and three sentences with such, okay? Let's try to do them because I want to see how do you do it. Try to describe people maybe, try to describe objects, food, um, countries maybe, okay? So for example, San Miguel is so hot. Or maybe you can say um, San Miguel is such a, such a good, um depart departamento okay so like that you're going to write through and three please let's do it and when you send you when you finish please send that on um on whatsapp please
Ready? Oh, well, remember that to send me the pictures, please, because I want to check. Remember that you can describe anything, right? Anything, anything. Sí, o sea, se va a enseñar no sé qué es el por este. No, o sea, la llave van a estar O sea, nada más que venía un buen recorrido lateral, una Y solo la cortina ahí de. de <coughs> One more minute. Why you do that? I'm going to do a tenant section, ¿ok? Okay, so let's do the attendance section. Please say presente, okay? Abigail Mejia. Oh, Miss Abigail, you have problems, right, with the microphone. Puedes escribir presente, Miss. Okay, thank you. Um, Andrea Amalia. Yes. 
Dania Lisbeth. Thank you, Miss. Dilce Yamilet. Aviso un ratito, but now. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Pres oh, no, no, no. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle. Thank you, me. Uy. Thank you, me. Thank you, everybody, for doing the attendance section. Okay, I'm just waiting for on uh, your send. This is because I want to see uh, how much. <laughs> um, so and such. Remember, choose a thing, then describe it, okay? What happened to the sentences, you guys? Two more minutes. I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Look around, look around the things that you have, like the TV, the bed, the computer, maybe the cell phone, like that. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Thank you, Mr. Jorge. Yes, very good. So, lo, lo, like the, the one that I don't understand, Mr. The computer is such a important okay? computer program. Engineer is with gentle in person. Playful animal, maybe? It's a clown. The clown is a funny? Clown. So, so such a funny like she, person, like maybe? She. Occupation? Yeah, a payaso. Okay, uh -huh, yes. Uh, is such a funny occupation, maybe? Oh. Mm -hmm. Just to complete okay, it. No, no. Uh -huh. yeah. Very, very good, Mr. Mauricio. Thank you. Well. The play or the game is? The game, maybe? The game it was so boring. So boring. And then that will be so interesting. The
Very good, Mr. Ezequiel. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Anything else for the other ones I'm waiting? It's a big guy. The topic is so hard. Mm -hmm. Was so terrifying. Yes. It's a big guy. My mother wears pretty makeup. It's good, but you're missing such, Miss. Such a pretty makeup, maybe, or such the movie was such a terrifying movie, maybe. Yes, very good, Miss Esmeralda. Thank you. In the Pangolin is such a unique, unique lake from El Salvador. Very good. Mm -hmm. So popular, right? So we run it so fast. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. I love it. Was first my daughter. Miss Kenya. Very good too. Oh, okay, the movie. So it said negative wasn't such an at wasn't such an a terrific 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 hmm. wait scare wasn't such a scary movie. It could be maybe. Yes, the movie wasn't such. O estuvo. If he says estuvo, sería was. The movie was such a ter terrible movie, maybe. It could be. Uh -huh. Estuvo. Was such a Terrible movie. It's a terrific, terrific. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it would be another one. No, terrific. Ah, ahí está. But I'm missing some of you that have missed it. Look at there. Thank you, Miss Sandra.
Okay, so it says, so I have so much to, <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. This is such a delicious pizza, 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 pizza. Delicious. It's hard to treat such, to treat such what, Miss? Cases, I don't know. Sad story, but I don't serve the last one. Okay, now just to finish, we are going to do a review of all the topic, okay, that we have studied today because it's almost time. What are we going to do? We are going to choose so and such, okay? As you can see here, we have many sentences and we are going to do it. Let's start with Miss Sandra. Can you give me number one, please? Miss Sandra, what do you think is the answer? So and such. Read the sentence and give me the answer, please. Let's go. These donuts. These donuts. Uh -huh. donut such. such delicious. Such delicious. Hmm. Are you sure? What do, what do, what do the other ones think, everybody? Oh, so it's so, so, so delicious. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's so delicious. It's not such. <clears throat> yes. Let's see next one, Mr. Mauricio. Number two. This is such a great cable. Thank you. Very good. Let's see, Miss Rebecca. Number three. He thinks he's so cool. So cool. Thank you. Number four, please, uh, Miss Lady. So a nice hairdo. So, so a nice hairdo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it correct, everybody? Hmm. No, such. Push. Such. Such. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos ahí el A, ah, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good, Miss. Let's go, Miss Esmeralda, number five. Books are so yes. interesting. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see next one, Mr. Francisco. Yes, teacher. Number six. Yes, please. This is such. This is such a nice room. Thank you. Very good, Miss Kenya. Next one, number eight. Number eight. He is such an angry baby. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Let's go, Mr. Jorge. Number nine. He, he is such a funny clown. Thank you. Very good. Name. Next one, number 10, it would be Mr. Juan Jose, please. The saxophone. The saxophone is such a great instrument. Thank you. Number 11, volunteers now, please help me with number 11. A mí no me ha preguntado. Oh, you. Mr. <laughs> really? No, pero ahorita ya me voy. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go, don't go. Number 11, please. Okay. He's so serious. Okay, thank you. Number 12 as well, Mr. Ya que no le había preguntado otra vez, entonces, tell me, number 12. Uh, I am such smart. Ah, such, such smart. Yo digo. <laughs> okay, what, what do you think the rest of the class, what do you think, it's it correct? Yes, I am so smart. So smart, exactly. Next one, a volunteer for number 13. Ahora sí. Bart is such a naughty boy. Yes, thank you. Next one, number 14. My sister, my, my sister, sister is such good. Such cute. So good. Good. Cute, 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 cute. Ajá, pero so or such? Eh, 
So. Yes, very good. Number 15, next volunteer. Fifteen volunteers. Only one, only one. <laughs> practice. Remember that is it for practice. The dog is so skinny. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Next one. Volunteer. Sixteen. Only sixteen because we finish. Sixteen and seventeen. It is it's eyes. Uh -huh. I are so big. It is eyes are so big. It's its eyes are so big. In number seventeen, Mr. Jorge, ya lo vi que por ahí está. Uh -huh. We are, we are such a happy family. Yes, very good. Let's see, termina, and let's see how much, how many points we got. Oh my goodness, we have a ten. That's good. Okay. So yeah, so that was the topic so and such, as you can see, to give like uh we can re like we can make bigger things or we can like make things lower, right? With this so and such, podemos hacer cosas como real de saltarlas o no verdad con el so and such okay and uh, all all of the things right with products we haven't done the conversation but tomorrow we are going to do that one okay so you can talk about one product but tomorrow we will do this practice now remember please i just wanted to remind remind you sorry uh, the platform okay so remember that by tomorrow, you have to have finished section number four, okay? Para mañana, tiene que tener terminado la sección número cuatro. Because remember, and also the final exam, y también el examen final, okay? And remember, if you have any questions, cualquier duda que tenga, no sé si alguien me escribió ahora, I don't remember. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I will help you. But I think I have answered to every question so far. Creo que todos me les, les he contestado. No sure. Give me one second. My thing, so yes. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so nobody has uh, asked me nothing. So I think we're good. Thank you, Miss Abigail. Thank you, Mr. Francisco. Very good, thank you. So yes, you're describing, right? Okay, questions so far, questions or doubts so far? Okay, so we, we have two minutes. So we are going to do a little bit together, okay? Here in the class, we're going to do a little bit of a definition or not a definition, a conversation. It says here, talk about, about a friend, the financial, financial statements you pay attention the most. Say and give reasons why it is important for companies you to care about them, okay? Um, Okay, so one of the things or one of the reasons, okay, why it's so important to care about the companies is because uh, the interest or the, no, no, it's not interest, wait. Let's say that the, hmm, wait, let's see. Um, the taxes are the interest. The taxes are so expensive, right? In some credit cards. So the companies, they obviously they do not care about you. So they will continue giving you maybe credit cards, right? So can you give me another thing or another reason to care about the companies? Another reason? One, two more company, two more reasons to care about them. Oh, I can be a help. <laughs> Nothing. Maybe, maybe uh, I have mm -hmm. credit credit TCN record or 
Red ah, coat okay. Easy. Okay. Como, what do you say? He has good such. Hmm. Such, such a good, uh -huh. a good. financial statement. Financial statement. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it, mister. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jose, you were asking for help. Wait, I'm going to put the answers and you are going to copy them, okay? So we can finish with this and then you can go. Uh, that, what what exercise is that one, Mr. ¿Qué ejercicio es ese? Uh, Section three. three. Section four, sí. sorry. Sí. Mm -hmm. Section four, number what? Uh, number three. Three, okay, okay. Give me one second so I can share. Oh, yes, it's number three. It's exercise number 18, mister, here in the platform, right? So these are the answers, but this one, mister, I already, yesterday I showed that I'll show you the answers. Do we start giving to Christmas week off? Este se las mostré el día de ayer, I remember. But you can take a screenshot right now so you can have them, okay? And then, yeah. If any other questions, you can let me know on WhatsApp, okay? And I will help you. But remember, by tomorrow, you have to finish them, okay? Any questions right now? Or no questions so far? No questions. Okay, so we are going to stay here. Nos vamos a quedar acá. We are going to continue tomorrow with this, okay? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Gracias a todos por venir. Espero, espero que mañana, que es Friday, todos puedan participar. No quiero estar solo con five or six or seven. I want everybody, the, four, the 13 students participating, okay? So I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. And bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Have a great night. Bye.